Mike McDonald is heads up against Poland's Dominic Panka at the PCA main event final table, looking to become the EPT's first ever two-time champ. Lines are currently 8160 with a 20k ante. And even though deals were made, it doesn't compare to the bigger deal of being PCA winner and also the prospect of Mike McDonald making history. Jack 10 for Dominic Panka on the button in the small blind. He raises. You're going to be raising most hands heads up, and I think this easily qualifies as most hands. King three for Mike McDonald, and he defends. Perfectly good hand to defend with. The flop is 6-4-3 with two clubs. A bottom pair for Mike, both players with backdoor flush draws. Action check to the razor. Not a guaranteed C betting spot for Skynet over here. He may decide there aren't too many better hands that would fold. Panka checks behind. And he turns top pair. I would not expect this one to go check check. Mike's got plenty of showdown value. Well, he checks for a second time. The check makes sense. But there are plenty of hands Dominic would start betting now that Mike is still beating, so he may call a bet. And here comes the delayed continuation bet. The white chip's worth 100k each, so it's a bet of 300,000. Delayed continuation bet, and it's for value. Mike calls. And he'd be beating a spade draw, any of those king and queen high, ace high hands that would bet there. A three on the river, trips for Timex. He blinked, that's a tell. The old bink blink gets him every time. He checks for a third time. It's a trap. I don't see Dominic not betting here. Excuse a double negative. He still has top pair. And he bets 525,000. Now I see him betting. Mike getting ready for the old check raise. If I look at him long enough, maybe he'll think I'm bluffing. Here it comes. Two million. Put that raise in your hard drive, Skynet. Does Panka pay this off? Panka's relatively new on the scene, but from what I've seen of him so far, he's no slouch. Ouch! He calls! And Mike McDonald will add another 2.6 million to his stack, extending his chip lead over Dominic Panka. Yeah, but now that Dominic knows what his check raises for value look like, he can assimilate it. Never get away with another one again. Mike being railed by his dad, Rick. Lines are up 100,000, 200,000 with a 30,000 ante. Now's when the real poker starts. Queen nine for Mike. Yes, this, yes, raise. And then raise to 400,000. Panker with 810. Yes, this, yes, defend. He calls. Mike the favorite going to the flop. Well, that's a gut shot for Panker. Mike's still ahead with queen high. Panker's almost always going to check to the razor. He's playing in flow. Looks like Mike's going to continue. 400,000. Same size as his pre-flop raise. He is not very likely to get a fold here. <coughs> Panka calls with his draw. Now Panka's got a cough tell. God, these guys are tell boxes. Nine on the turn. Second pair for Mike. A straight for Panka. And McDonald is officially drawing dead. Hachi machi. And look at this cheeky little lead from Panka. He knows it's very likely that McDonald's got a piece now. 950,000. How does Mike respond to this lead? I'll be super impressed if he just falls, but I don't think that ever happens. Oh, Ray's coming. 2.7 million. 
Well, that's not gonna work. On. Piker shoves. And Mike's gotta fold now. He lets it go. And then now, pretty much even in chips. Yeah, go Poland. And go Canada. Dominic Panka looking to become the first ever Polish winner on the tour. It's Panka's button. Dominic has the slight chip advantage right now. 10-5, not much of a hand. I think you're still supposed to raise this heads up. He raises to 400,000. Queen Jack suited for Mike. Oh, we could see a three bet. No, he just calls. Perfectly good hand to take a flop with. Doesn't want to play a huge pot. Fine. And what a flop for McDonald. A pair and a royal flush draw. Panker with just a gut shot. Boy, that just looks nice. Mike checks to the razor. Panker's going to continue. He thinks he's going to get a lot of folds on this board. Mike would have to defend pretty wide. 550,000. Just because Mike called a raise doesn't mean he hit this board, but oh, he certainly did. He calls. And we go to the turn with a better part of two million in the middle. Deuce of clubs. Mike is now a 93% favorite. And he's pretty likely to know that, I think. He's checked. Hank is going to fire a second barrel. There's no chance he gets a fold here. But if he can bet, bet. Maybe if Mike doesn't improve, he can win this pot. 1.3 million. Once again, Mike just calls. He does not want to take the bluffs out of Panka's range. More than four and a half million in the middle and the six of hearts on the river. Mike didn't need to improve, but he does. He's rivered the nuts and he checks it. Panka goes for the triple barrel bluff, 2.9 million. 2.9. And look at this, a very rare show of excitement from Mike McDonald. Look how hard he's breathing. All in. He shoves. Gasp. The crowd think this is it. But it's not. Panker forced a fault. It wasn't the big one, but it was a big one. Mike McDonald reclaims the chip lead as this epic heads up battle continues. Blind still 100 200. Mike McDonald with Queen Six of Hearts. Certainly good enough for a poke. There's the raise. A7 for Panka. Good enough for a bigger poke, possibly. He calls. The flop is Ace King 5 with two hearts. That's top pair for Panka and a flush draw for McDonald. This could get weird. Panka playing in flow. Timex continuing for 400k. I don't think Dominic's going to raise here too often, but he's also not folding ever. He calls. The turn card is the nine of hearts. That's a flush for Mike, but Panka has a redraw to the nut flush. So still just ensures that he's not folding. He checks for a second time. I don't think Mike's ever giving a free card here. Tons of hands you can get value from, specifically aces and the ace of hearts. Roughly half the pot, 800,000. And Dominic is never, ever, 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 ever folding here, ever. 
and he's not folding twice on Sunday. He calls again. So we now have nearly 3.3 million in the pot. One card to come. That card is the Jack of Spades. So the board bricks out for Panka. What'll be really interesting is if Dominic can get away from this. Check. He checks to Mike. How much is your boy going to value bet? I bet it's a lot. He's counted out two million. That is roughly two thirds of the pot. Gulp. How much? Two million. What a great bet from Mike McDonald. Perfectly sized to befuddle Dominic Panka's exact hand. The most bizarre part about this, Dominic is a machine. He already knows what he's doing. He's just waiting so he seems more human. He makes a fold, a good lay down. A fine fold, fantastic. Hospital corners. Mike McDonald extends his chip lead. It's roughly 19 million playing 11.5 million, and they play on. One looking to become the first two-time EPT champ, the other hoping to become the first ever Polish winner on the tour. To see the conclusion of the 2014 PCA main event final table, go to youtube.com slash pokerstars.